Imagine if NBA games had one minute quarters. Four minute overall games. It would be madness, upsets, close games, and craziness is bound to happen. So for the upcoming 2024 season, we did that. We made the quarters one minute long and simulated to see who would win on NBA 2K23. So fellas, go sit down, go relax, go grab your favorite snack, and let's get this simulation underway. Here we go. So we are now on the NBA 2K and as you see, we have made the quarter length only one minute, 82 games in the season still, but only one minute quarters. So four minute games overall. I mean, this is going to be amazing, guys. I can't wait to see what is going to happen. And guys, we're just going to go with the rosters real quick and then similar this season here with one minute quarters. This is the updated 2K24 rosters with all the rookies, all the new traits, all the new transactions. So it's going to be a good one nonetheless. And guys, as we go over the rosters, let me know down below which team do you think is going to win today's simulation. I want to see all your predictions down below i mean with these one minute quarters anything is possible any team realistically has a chance to win this simulation it is just who is gonna be playing better in those four minutes to move on as we see the miami Heat. of course they don't have damian lillard just yet and if we're being honest i feel like damian lillard won't go to the miami heat that's just my prediction it's been over a month since he requested the trade and it still hasn't happened as we see the la lakers they have definitely made some big improvements to their roster for the upcoming season the orlando magic the dallas mavericks got to keep Kyrie Irvin, which is big time and guys i'm just so excited for this type of simulation because with these women at quarters the games are going to be very close I mean, any team has a chance, like I said, to win, but the majority of the games are going to come down in the last couple seconds, with the last minutes, with these one-minute quarters, it is just going to be absolute madness. So, when you make predictions, you got to think about the teams that are going to play hard for four minutes, the best starting lineups, all that. As we continue on, we see the OKC Thunder, the Minnesota Timberwolves with Anthony Edwards, who is one of my favorite players. And also, for you guys out there, comment down below your favorite player from a team that is not your favorite team. So, I want to see what you guys have to say, but it is now time to assimilate to the end of the season, guys. To see which teams will make the postseason and what is going to happen with these one minute quarters as you saw the rosters so let's get to the end of the season here on nba 2k23 and so the mvp of the one minute quarters is Jokic of the nuggets averaging 2.4 points 1.3 rebounds 1.4 assists so basically a triple single as charles barkley likes to call it but Jokic, what a great season i guess jet homegrown rookie of the year averaging 1.2 points i have okc six million year goes to josh green from the dallas mavericks off the bench with a one point and then Joel Embiid defensive player of the year and then we see the first team all NBA Trey Young Garland onto the Kubo Tatum and Jokic how about that first team another rookie first team goes to Chet Holmgren Jarese Walker Scoot Henderson I can't pronounce your name and Victor Wembanyama from the San Antonio Spurs and now the stats leaders this is going to be interesting as Embiid and Tatum lead the league with 2.8 points a game Mikel Bridges in there with 2.6 at three how about that then we see Lowry Markin and Mitchell Davis then we see Trey Young in there, Doncic, Jalen Brown, rebounds per game, and B led the league. And then we see Jokic. I mean, this is crazy. Sangoon is in there, assists per game, Darius Garland, and Jokic. This is definitely crazy with the woman of quarters. The stats are definitely wild in this one. And now the Eastern Conference standings as the Magic have the one seed. Are you serious? Woman of quarters definitely helped the Magic. Then we see the Knicks, Bucks, Hawks, Celtics, and then we see the Detroit Pistons. How about the Pistons making it as well? Cleveland and Charlotte makes it 40 wins though, as this. Sixers and Miami both missed out. Interesting to say the least. And they're the teams that did not make it in the Eastern Conference. Definitely a wild East in this simulation. And on the Western Conference, the Lakers will take the one seat as the Dallas Mavericks are right behind them. The Denver Nuggets, the former champs, the Clippers, the Kings, Grizzlies, Spurs make the seventh seed, and the Warriors will slip in as the eighth seed as the teams that did not make it, the Pelicans, Suns, so on and so forth. As the Timberwolves, yes, the Timberwolves will finish last in the Western Conference. And so, guys, here we are to the official playoff bracket for today's simulation as we have one minute quarters best of seven series for everything this is gonna be madness it is your last chance to comment down below who do you think is gonna win as the road to the nba finals in this simulation will begin here in the very first round so guys go sit down go relax go grab your favorite snack and let's get right into this playoff simulation here we go
So guys, here we go. Start off this one minute quarter postseason in Detroit as the Pistons are down three games to nothing in the series. Can they force five? We are tied at 12. Cunningham blocked by Lopez. And man, these games are going to be crazy with these short quarters as the Bucks have an opportunity to win this series in a sweep. Can they get the basket onto the Kubo? Misses the layup. Are you kidding me? Onto the Kubo. Missed it. Here come the Pistons. Fans on their feet. Cunningham. It's going to go to the line as he gets fouled. And guys, if there's any simulation where it's going to be easy to come back from a 3-0 deficit, it is this one. Because with these one minute quarters, anything could happen as the Pistons are up by 2 with 21 seconds after the cutting in free throws. Fans are going crazy. Defense is going to need a stop right now for Detroit. As onto the Kubo has it with 14 seconds. Shot clock is off. Here comes the screen. Onto the Kubo the drive. Giannis goes up with it. And it is no good. Grabs his rebound. Middleton. Bang! Oh, a dagger in the Pistons defense. Three seconds. Cutting in with the season on the line. It's good if it goes. And it's an air ball. The Milwaukee Bucks will close out this series in a sweep as Milton gets the game winner. And Pistons fans, absolute heartbreak as their season's over. Well, now we go to Sacramento. DeMontis Sabonis at the line with 8.5 seconds. Kings up 3-0 on the Clippers. It's a three-point game, so the Clippers season will come down to this. Westbrook, Clippers need a three. Need to go to somebody. It's going to be Westbrook. And it is off the mark rebound, but time is going to run out as the Sacramento Kings will defeat the LA Clippers in four, getting the sweep done and moving on to the second round. How about this? Was this an upset? Let me know down below. But anyways, we are now on to New York as the Knicks will knock off the Cavaliers three games to one. So we're reverse of what happened in this year's postseason in real life as on 2K, the Knicks will beat Cleveland and they are moving on to the conference semifinals. As now we go to Charlotte, it is the one seed Orlando Magic up 3-2 on the 16 of Hornets, and they also have a two-point lead. Hornets looking to force game seven as they throw it away. Here comes Orlando on the break, looking for the dagger. 40 seconds, the ball in the hands of the former rookie of the year, Paulo Bonchero, gives up to Jalen Suggs, 14 in shot clock. Hornets need to play some defense. Suggs has it. Wide open, Wagner gonna fire, and puts it in. It's a five-point game. That might be the dagger with 27 seconds, a huge shot from Franz Wagner. Timeout, Hornets and guys that is all she wrote in this one 15 to 8 year final as the one seed magic will win this series in six games and they're gonna be moving on to the Eastern Conference semifinals and guys, I didn't think it would happen, but it happened. Zero to zero in this game between the Mavericks and the Spurs in a game seven. 43 seconds left. I mean, are you crazy right now? Nobody has scored. As here's Hardaway looking to give it to Doncic. He takes a three. No good. Still no baskets in this game. And the series is on the line. As 30 seconds remain and the Spurs have the ball. Fans are on their feet. They go to the rookie. Victor Wembanyama against Powell. No good. Gets his rebound. Bound. Back out to Vassell. Shot clock and game clock separated in nine seconds. Here they come. Keldon Johnson. Weminiana. Vassell. Got it. 13 seconds. The first basket of the game comes in the fourth quarter. Timeout Mavericks. And the first basket came in clutch as Doncic and Dallas. 10 seconds. Can they avoid going without scoring and also losing this game seven? They need something. Here is Doncic. The screen. No, he's going to take it. No good! Mavericks are gonna fall in game seven as they don't even score anything. Zero points on the board, two to zero your final. What a crazy finish, and the Spurs get the upset. As now we're gonna go to Denver. It is the Grizzlies taking the former champs in a game seven, 15 to 10 your final. So Memphis with Derrick Rose, Marcus Smart, John Moran will dethrone the former champions Nuggets as Jokic and the squad will be going home. And now we're going to go to LA, Warriors, Lakers, 1C versus AC, going at it in a game 7 with 40 seconds as the Warriors are down 11 to 12. Here is Kayvon Looney, 33 seconds to Curry, bang! Hits the night-night celebration as the Warriors take a two-point lead. 30 seconds, winner go home, fans are on their feet. LeBron James versus Stephen Curry, it never seems to get old. As the ball goes to Davis and he dunks it home right over Looney's head. And timeout here in LA. And it looks like the 
Warriors are gonna Clay Thompson here for the win. 13 seconds, shot clock is off. Austin Reeves will defend. Clay Thompson looking to win the series, gets in the paint. Thompson bumps Reeves. Thompson floats it up and it goes down with four and a half seconds. Lakers on a timeout. Russell looking to win the series at the buzzer. Oh, it almost banked it in. Oh my goodness, that would have been amazing. But anyways, the Warriors will beat the Lakers in Game 7 to win the series. And so I accidentally simmed too fast, but the Hawks will end up being the Boston Celtics 11-8 in this closeout game. A Game 6 series win for Atlanta. And guys, look at this. Trey Young had all the points except for two. He had 9 out of 11 points for the Hawks. I mean, complete takeover as the Hawks will beat the Celtics in six. And so after the entertaining first round, we are now on the eight teams remaining. Some upsets and some madness in that first round. It's been some fun so far. So without further ado, we're going to continue the simulation here at one minute quarters in the second round of today's simulation. So sit down, sit back, relax, and let's keep it going. Here we go. We will begin the conference semifinals off in Sacramento. In a five game victory, it will be the eight seeded Golden State Warriors, 18 to eight over the Kings and they're moving on to the West Finals. I mean, this has to be one of the greatest eight seeds you'll ever see. The Warriors are now on to the final four in the simulation as the Sacramento Kings season will be over. And now we are going to Orlando, the one seed in the East, the Magic, yes, have got it done. They have moved past the Hawks in five games and they are on their way to the Eastern Conference Finals. So Orlando, Magic fans, you guys are now one series away from the finals in the simulation. And now we are going to San Antonio, 10 to 6 in game 6. Marcus Smart to 3 won't go. Spurs win the series in 6 to move past the Grizzlies. How about San Antonio? They will keep their Cinderella run going as they move on. And now it's the Milwaukee Bucks who will beat the New York Knicks in 6 games. And so, New York Knicks fans, your guys' season will come to an end as the Bucks they get the job done and they are moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, 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 we have now entered the Final Four today's simulation as we're the 7th first 8th seed in the West. That just goes to show how crazy these one minute quarters are. And in the East, we have the Magic versus the Bucks. So without further ado, guys, it is time to find out which two teams will make the Finals in this 2K simulation. It's been a wild ride up to this point. So which teams are moving on? Well, let's find out. Here we come. So the conference finals in the East and West will both go down to Game 7s as here is Curry from way downtown. No! Spurs have it with 41 seconds up by 1. Can they get the upset? I mean, I guess they're the 7th seed and this wouldn't be really an upset, but I mean, still it's the Warriors as Weminyana in the paint against Looney. Nothing there. Great defense. But in the height, it's too good as he scores over Looney. Three-point game with 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. Is this really going to happen? Can the Spurs go to the finals? Well, we are in over yet. Here are the Warriors. They're only down by three points as Draymond comes to set a screen. Curry got a three. Ties it up from downtown. You can't go on the screen to Stephen Curry. 16 seconds remaining and here comes the Spurs and they have a chance to win this series. Shot clock is off. You got to go back to Weminyana. The rookie just made a shot a moment ago. Six seconds. Jones. Weminyana loses it. Gets it back and scores. With 3.5 seconds, Golden State at a timeout. Curry looking for the win. It's off the mark, and the Spurs are going to the finals in this one minute quarter simulation. Who predicted this? I mean, if you have the Spurs going to the finals, you are definitely lying because in this simulation, they have just gotten there by beating the Warriors in seven games. And in the East, Orlando at the line. Can we get another upset as the Magic are up two with 40 seconds? Oh my goodness, we already have the Spurs in the finals. Can it be Orlando versus San Antonio? How madness would that be? As here is Drew Holiday in the Bucks down two. Right to onto the Kupo. Onto the Kupo in the paint. Spin. Too easy for the Greek freak. 30 seconds. Tied at 10 points. And the Magic will have the ball. Each team out of timeout. Oh my goodness. Fans are on their feet. Franz Wagner has a good playoff simulation already. Can he get a basket? The screen. Wagner goes to left. Behind the back. Working on Middleton. Wagner. Missed it. Rebound Middleton. Here come the Bucks with 11 seconds. A chance to win the series. As here is Drew Holiday. Seven seconds. Goes right to Giannis. Giannis puts it in. 5.1 seconds. Bucks have the lead. Here we go. No timeout for Wagner. Two seconds. Wagner from the logo. 
back iron, no good, and the Bucks will take out the Magic, there will be no upset in Orlando, as the Bucks will move on to the finals, what a crazy finish in game 7, and so the NBA Finals will come down to the Milwaukee Bucks versus San Antonio Spurs with this 1 minute quarter simulation, who predicted this finals is definitely crazy nonetheless, but anyways, a now best of 7 to determine the winner of today's simulation, who is going to take it, Milwaukee, San Antonio, let's go. It's a game six in San Antonio as the Bucks are down two with 45 seconds. What a pass. Allen puts in the three. Giannis to Grayson Allen. Milwaukee up by one. And they have a serious lead of three to two. So can they win the championship on the road? As here is Jones. Right to Wemben Yana. Wemben Yana throws it down. And Wemben Yana is having some sort of playoff simulation in this one. As 35 seconds. Spurs up no force in game seven. Here is onto the Kupo. 101 with Sochan. 15 in the shot clock. Onto the Kupo between the legs. Go left. Giannis. And one, the Greek Freak taking over in this game six with a series championship on the line. He goes to the line, knocks on the free throw. So the Bucks have a two point lead with 26 seconds remaining. And if you're the Spurs, you gotta go right back to Weminyana. He's been the guy in this simulation right now for San Antonio. As Joe is gonna go to him, Weminyana against Lopez, backing his way down. Weminyana again, timeout Bucks, 14 0 with 13 seconds in game six. Milwaukee with a chance to win the championship. 11 seconds. Here we go. Spurs need to stop. Holiday to Giannis. Gets open and jams at home. Seven seconds away from winning it all. Spurs have a chance though. No timeouts. As Jones has raced up the floor with three seconds. Jones goes to Wembenyana with one. Wembenyana. It's good. But did it count? Victor Wembenyana. Chance to send this one to overtime. He got it. But did it count? As we're going to go to the replay review. Wemben Yana, it looks like he did get it off in time. So, oh my goodness, guys. We're going to be going to overtime in this game six. And the review from the ref is official. We are now tied at 16 in this game six. Isn't over just yet. Here we go to extra minutes, or actually only one minute as back to Women Yana. The Spurs get the opening tip and go right back to Women Yana. And man, what a game he's having and what a postseason is having. 50 seconds, Spurs up by two points. Milwaukee is still trying to win this series at six. Onto the Kupalo spin. Blocked by Women Yana. Pins it off the glass. Here come the Spurs with 40 seconds. This place is going to explode. Right to Sochan. Here we are with 14 in the shot clock. Jones has it. San Antonio looking for the dagger. Jones looking for Wembin Yana. Goes right to him. This time Yana's will defend. Oh, you can't be serious. Wembin Yana does it again. Timeout Bucks. Are you kidding me right now? The greatest performance you've ever seen in halftime Productions history. And guys, it is all over. The Spurs will hang on and win this game 6-4-7. Led by Victor Wembanyama in this series of the NBA Finals will go the distance. What an amazing performance and what a crazy game. And the Spurs have done it. Coming back from a 3-2 deficit, the Spurs have won the championship with these one minute quarters as they hold the Bucks to five points in game seven of the finals and they win the simulation. Unbelievable. Did anybody predict the Spurs to win this one? Because if you did, I need to see your comments because this was crazy. The Bucks will go down. They were so close to winning it. And Victor Women Yarn with one of the greatest playoff performances we've ever seen in this simulations as it is over in seven games, guys. I mean, man this was a fun one to say the least and thank you all so much for watching i want to see your reactions in the comments down below but i appreciate every single one of you guys all of you are the goats it is after productions once again i appreciate you all for watching spurs win the championship and we out for today's one we'll see you in the next